This is Time for Fun Toy Reviews. I am Drake. Today I will be reviewing Skulltron. He is a Toy Story exclusive from the, what's it called? Mission to Cybertron series line thing. You can only get him at Toys R Us. Intro! So, sorry he's in uh, Dragon Mode to start with. I would normally put him in Robot Mode, but eh. He's in dragon mode. Actually, not dragon, wyvern, it's stuff. So, I guess I'm going to do the transformation backwards with him because he's in dragon mode. So, for posability in dragon mode, uh, you have right here a ball joint. Then you have a hinge right here. And the two wing set sections can they can just spin around on their little spinny thing and I am uh, very congested so that I might sound a little weird I don't know how I sound on microphone with congested though okay so we have a ball joint right here at the base of the neck then uh, you have a bend here and a swivel ah! so that's where the ball joint is Wee! then you have a a swivelly thing that feels like a ratchet when you turn it. You have this here that looks like it's supposed to be a ratchet but has failed epically. And then you have neck posability right here. This is a very strong ratchet and then it just free moving down here. And this is up here is on a ball joint. And then his mouth does open with a little dragon tongue inside. Wyvern I mean. Right there. It doesn't really move though so it's weird because it just sticks straight out no matter what. And you can move these things around, like, now he's all sad. Now he's happy or angry. And, like, oh, this is more sad. This is sad. And, like, now he's angry. He's going to poke you and stuff. Now I need to reattach his uh, head back here on the tail. It's the exact same thing, except for it's a tail, not a head. So you have the ball joint there, the bend and swivel. And then you can move the tip of the tail. So for it's really hard because it's like a softer plastic. Up here for the back legs. You can spin them all the way around because they're on a ball joint. This little shoulder pad here can move. You can bend this. And then you can move the foot kind of like that. But I don't see why you would. And then right here, there's a little peg for the sword. And yeah right there you can put the sword in it's really cool uh i like that right there see how there's that big hole right underneath that there's a little hole and whoop, it slides right in Ta -da! so to transform him into a robot mode oh the wing yes on the wing right here i don't know how well you can see it there's markings and at Toys R Us, I don't know if they're still there, but there's these sheets. Here, I'm going to hold it really still, so hopefully you can take a screenshot. In case they don't have them. Okay, so there's these sheets, and it's a decoder, and there's, and there's these symbols here on the wings, and you have to decode it. <laughs> it says Skulletron. It says his name on his wing. Which, uh, in case you don't know his name, is really cool, but otherwise, I wish there was, like, something, like, more like a code, or, like, maybe, like, a hint to, like, something secret they're gonna be doing, or, I don't know. I I'm, we I'm weird, I'm me. Okay. Okay. There we are. Now that we've done all that, uh, let's look at detail on the sword. This is really cool, the sword. With all the lines, and it's a ru it's rubber. Weep. It's bendy. Uh, I would say that my only complaint with the sword is it's just one solid piece of plastic. I wish there's paint somewhere, but that'd probably fall off because weep. It's bendy. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you to turn him into a robot. And then if, you, if you're having trouble, like, doing it because he's out of the packaging, he's a, uh, a robot, 
just like play the video backwards. <laughs> okay, so I like to start with the head first. What? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the head all the way around so he's looking behind him. He's like, what? And then make him like sad or like scared so he can't see. And then fold the neck all the way into the leg. And the robot foot goes right there in replace of the leg. Now, to the other side, you fold the tail down all the way and fold the foot back up. Like that. Now what we're going to do is right here, this folds in like that. So what you want to do is you want to get the wings out of the way you're gonna turn this so that little hole for a stand is facing towards the back so this was like that now you're gonna turn it this way and fold it down like so then you need to turn these at the swivel in like that and there you go but now we have a problem. If I fold these in, now I can't see his head. So what you need to do is push or pull the chest down. I don't know how well you can see this. You can see it better. Ah! It's a good idea. So see that little metal thing? A little metal circle? That right there is a thing attached to the front section and I just need to slide the front section down because see how it's probably like moving a little I need to get it down all the way which is really hard for some reason and then the legs split apart which they're not supposed to do it's caught on something yep I see where it's caught okay so I'm folding these back in because it's getting caught on the, there's this little panel disc around on the head for the chest to peg into and there we go it was getting stuck on that so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna fold this back up and right there see these little lines coming out they are going to fold into that peg right there and it's gonna peg in so now you should have something like that. And same thing on the other side. Just fold it in and peg it in. Now you're going to put your dragon arms back on. Except for wait, you were you're good to your toys, so you didn't rip them off to begin with. Urgh. I didn't mean to rip one of them off. It just fell off on accident. And then I was like, oh good idea! And ripped it off the other one. There, just make sure you don't put them on the wrong sides. Okay, so now that you can see his ugly face, you're almost done. What you're going to do is you're going to turn this that way. And fold that in. And straight out the arm and put it down. Then you're going to turn this that way, fold it in, and give him his sword. Ha! And now pose the wings as you would like. And fix the... I don't know what that is. The legs are falling apart again. Ah! He's falling apart again. He has Grimlock issues. Stuff has some trouble pegging in. So there's different ways that you can pose it. You can have, like, the wings out. You can have them folded in and have the arms kind of like hanging over his head like that. That works best because now he can actually stand and you can see his beautiful ugly face. It's not beautiful. It is ugly. Okay. So, yeah. I would like to, I don't know if I'm going to end the review right now, but I would like to know if you guys like the, from the dragon to the, uh, robot, or if you like robot to dragon, 
He was already in dragon mode. It's easier to storm that way. I actually think it might be easier to storm this way. But I like him in dragon mode because it's cool. Actually, it's not a dragon. It's a wyvern because the front two wings have uh, wings on. The front two uh, claw hand things have wings. Have the wings on them. And it's not two legs and wings and dragon stuff. Look it up. Okay. Google exists. So for posability in robot mode, uh, the uh, ball joint, bend, he can do weird things with his leg, then you can do weird things with his foot, and then you have a ball joint down here that is very limited. Up here, the head can spit! Ew, his face really is disgusting. In Okay. That is just a ball joint. Ooh, there's a swivel right there. I didn't know about that. So now you can do stuff like that. Then there's a bend at the elbow. And then his hand can spin, but then you have the giant dragon claw spinning as well. And then there's the wing articulation, but I already told you that at the beginning of the review. And if you forgot, just go watch the beginning of the review. Again. There we go. I like him much better in dragon mode. I think he overall looks better. He does have some of the problems that uh, his repaint brother, uh, Iron Bar, is it steel? Iron. Uh, there's some other guy where it's just the head and the paint scheme is different. It's Iron something. I'll look it up later. Um, he doesn't have as many problems as that guy. And the pieces are the same, so you can easily just take apart this guy and then just switch the pieces around so he's like... better pieces? Oh, uh, yeah. I need to go blow my nose. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna talk about how much I paid for him. He was, what, like $20? Which is actually worth it. Uh, he's very finicky, you just need to be careful with him, and if you're posing him, just don't shake the table. Cause like, we Earthquake! Okay, he's being good right now, but normally, like, if you're doing something and you set him down, and then somebody shakes the table... He's more sturdy than the box. Okay, wow! Hmm. Okay! So normally he'll fall over really easily, or something will unclick, or something ba ah, bad will happen, but he's being really good right now, actually. He's a nice figure, I really like him. He's really cool. I like that you, there's stuff to decode on them. Is there anything on you to decode? Ooh, there's a thingy right there, what's that? It's... V, that's weird. There's a thing on the back of Grimlock's box, and it's V! Yay! V! He's back here, too! Apparently, V is some sacred letter to Cybertronians. Yes, yeah, so, uh... Yeah. This guy's totally worth it for $20. He's an amazing toy. And if you, uh, want to improve him in any way, or you want to paint him or make him cool, totally do it. He's totally amazing and worth buying. And, for some reason, Cybertronians love the letter V. Like, comment, subscribe, and, uh... V. I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you liked the video. Yeah, totally subscribe. It's totally worth it. Uh, still gonna, uh, uh, yeah, I like reviewing things. <laughs> v. <laughs> Wait, is this guy an Autobot or a Decepticon? It doesn't say. Who cares? Seriously, though, is he an Autobot or a Decepticon? I don't think there were Autobots or Decepticons in that movie either. I think he might be more of a Decepticon, because there's an Autobot symbol on the back of Grimlock's box, very vaguely, it's like, small. And then there's a Decepticon symbol on the back of his box, so he might be a Decepticon, because I know this guy's an Autobot. He doesn't have a si oh, no, take it back, he does. Like, comment, subscribe, video's ending, I'm looking for a symbol on him. Maybe I'm gonna have to put a decal on his wing and it's like, Decepticon! That's what they could have put on his wing! Like, Decepticon! It could have said that! That would have been so much better! It's totally like a blooper scene. 
Okay, I have other stuff to be doing. I, I can look at him with a microscope later. Like, in ten years, looking at him. Oh, this dust bunny is in the shape of a Decepticon symbol. He's finally a Decepticon. Okay, bye! <laughs>